and it looks like we are just about ready for round two as uh, these combatants get ready for uh, hopefully another exciting round of MMA action. Oh, you know, sign of respect and going out and touching gloves. They both obviously have a lot of respect for each other. The one thing I have to tell you, Jamie, that impresses me most, not only about the sport of MMA overall, but particularly when you look at a guy like Ben Henderson, is just the sportsmanship. Such a classy, classy guy outside of the ring. Very, very humble, very, very religious. And it, it really helps paint a new picture for the sport. It's not, you know, it's not cage fighting. It, it is a sport. It's not a spectacle. Oh, nice, nice kick by, uh, by Henderson. Yeah, I have to agree with you. We're not a bunch of, we're not definitely not a bunch of Neanderthals out here just trying to, trying to fight. We're we're athletes. And we just we're competitors, and this is just another way for us light wrestlers, being being 157, you know, 155 pounds, 165 pounds. This is just another outlet for us to compete. Oh, a kick that misses from Saraiva. That one catches uh, again with the punch combination following up. And uh, Henderson's forced to backpedal a little bit here, but begins to explode with some uh, stuff of his own. Oh, nice, uh, nice takedown attempt. Oh, Henderson raining down, doing the ground and pound, doing a great job. Nice elbow by Henderson. This is great, man. This is the first time that Arizona has been able to see real MMA. Elbows, close fist punches on the ground. This is this is really this is really real treat for the fans for sure. And such great athletes fighting too. You bring up a very good point, Jamie. History in the making here tonight at the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. For the very first time, the unified rules of mixed martial arts employed. And uh, tonight, fans, uh, fans will see strikes on the ground. They will see punches on the ground, elbows on the ground. And uh, it's definitely going to make for a much more exciting night for the fans. Yeah, the, the only difference between this and you know, a UFC fight or the up kicks um, in this show, they were not, they're not allowed to use the up kicks from the ground to the face, which definitely could um, slow down someone's ground and pound or definitely uh, keep, them, keep them a little bit more off, you know, catch them off guard. Like we saw Nick Diaz do that to Drew Fickett a couple times mm -hmm. in their fight, up kicks from the ground. Uh, they can be pretty devastating, but this is still just an amazing, amazing uh, show, show of MMA. Uh, this is MMA at its finest right here for sure. Henderson uh, just raining down punches again from the perch. It's interesting to me that uh, Saraiva hasn't pulled him into his guard, but I guess he just doesn't want to go there with Ben Henderson. You know, I think it's it's not so much him trying to pull into the guard. It's Henderson posturing up, staying on his feet, and using that, utilizing that leverage that he has uh, going from, you know, ground being on top and just coming down with those punches. You know, he knows that Diego's dangerous from his back, and so he's going to try and stay out of those positions, those dangerous positions. Henderson there may be looking to work to side control, but it seems like he prefers to just stand up and again, uh, rain down punches one after the other. And Saraiva certainly not in danger of having the fight stop, but may want to show a little bit of offense just to give the, the judges something to think about. Really, there's not really much you can do in that position, especially since up kicks are not, not legal. I mean, that's, that's about the only thing he can do. Oh, trying to roll through for that knee bar. But uh, Henderson, Henderson's, he, he, it seems like he's one step ahead in this fight. Nice control. Nice control of those knees and the feet. Oh, looked like uh, Sarai was going for a, for a sweep. Trying to pull butterfly guard right there. I think uh, I think the ref should stand these guys up, man. This, uh, oh, well now Henderson's starting to do some work. Those are just hard punches from Henderson, jeez. You can hear them hitting one after the other, and uh, you have to wonder, again, how much of this can De uh, Diego Saraiva take? Well, Brazilians are definitely known for being tough, man. They definitely have a lot of fight in them for sure. So, uh, but, you know, I fight's only one punch away from ending for sure. At any given time, anybody can be finished. And again, Henderson now beginning to pour it on, a little bit of a pause, but when, when Ben Henderson gets going, it is going to take a hell of a lot to stop him. Yeah, Diego's, Diego's not really doing much from here, man. He really needs to get it going. He's, he's definitely behind on the scorecards. And he lost the first round, I thought, and definitely uh, is being pretty much dominated this round. Um, he, he, needs to, he definitely needs to put, put uh, more, more of an offense together besides just laying there and taking, taking punches. 
Jamie, if you're Diego Saraiva right now, how do you how do you defend yourself? Again, 10 seconds left here in the match. How do you defend yourself from those punches that are being rained down? You know what? I would I would go to I I would be trying to play a different kind of guard or using my feet to just keep him away. You know, you can't up kick, but you know, using him push away on his hips and get get back to your feet, do something. Uh, maybe even try and roll into him for a single leg, try and get a takedown from that position. Uh, there's there's many things that he can do, but I think he's just so comfortable on his back, and he's just I think he's just waiting for Henderson to make a mistake. But that's not that's not the way you should fight. You should always be on the offense, like Henderson. He's constantly on the offense, looking to finish the fight. And I think um, Diego's just just waiting waiting to catch him, make a mistake. So here we are between rounds two and rounds three. Of course, round three will be the final round in this bout tonight. And you have to begin to wonder, I mean, if you're in Diego Saraiva's corner right now, you've got to be telling him you need something big here in the third round to pull this out. Yeah, Joe Riggs is uh, in his corner right now. Um, they're from the Lions. And I would, I think Joe Riggs, if I was Joe Riggs, I'd be telling Diego, you need to rally. We need to, um, we need to put some punches together. We need to, we need a dominating performance in this round. We need to finish this fight, whether it be knockout or submission, because we are definitely losing. So, um, Hopefully, hopefully he comes out here with a little bit more fire. Round three, our third and final <coughs> round in this three-round bout between Ben Henderson and Diego Saraiva. Again, for most of this fight, we have seen Ben Henderson control the action. And really, Jamie, he's, he's controlled the pace of this fight. You know what you know what I like about Ben Henderson? He's not just throwing one punch at a time. He's coming in with combinations and using leg kicks. So he's constantly keeping um, Diego on the defense. If I, I mean, if I was Diego, I, I, you would have to close the distance and get off first. You can't just wait for him to wait for him to punch you. You got You got to go. The flying knee attempt yeah. there, oh, uh, indicative of something we've seen a little bit earlier in this evening's show. Uh, but again, the flying knee attempt by Ben Henderson, uh, that, that's a way to end a fight with one strike. Oh, well, for sure. We, we definitely saw that earlier in the night with, uh, with Seth Bishninski against uh, James Warfield. But, um, you know, Henderson is the taller fighter, so I'd see that being a, an effective weapon. So, you know, good for him for trying it. And this is, I think this is a real, real turning point in Henderson's career. You know, being able to execute some of the striking that he's done in this fight against a top level uh, competitor. He'll be able to carry that on uh, in the future in his career. Again, Henderson just coming in, and it's one combination after the other, whether it's punches, whether it's knees. He is definitely getting the better of these exchanges. And the other thing, too, Jamie, that's impressive, when you see guys who aren't maybe UFC level, WEC level, strike force level fighters, sometimes in the third round their cardio begins to give, and Ben Henderson looks like he could go another three rounds if he had to. He's an elite athlete. I mean, that's, that's all we can say. He's He was well prepared, and he trained hard for this fight, and it shows because... He looks the same way he did in the first round. Nice takedown, too. Nice transition. See those punches and those kicks, man. Got the guy, got Diego worried about, got him worried about the strikes, and so just left him open for the takedown. Earlier, Jamie, you made a very good point about Ben Henderson. Perhaps this could be the, the next turning point in his career. And, uh, of course, with Evo MMA here in the Phoenix area, taking this sport across Arizona, it's going to provide wonderful opportunities for, for fighters uh, of amateur level or pre-professional level uh, in their career to, to have that stage to go to a UFC or a WEC. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is amazing. What a time to be a fighter in Arizona. Uh, when I was coming into sports six years ago, I didn't have a platform like Evo MMA. I had to go outsource my fights. I had to go to Canada and all all across the country to get fights. So uh, they would le legitimize me because there were no legitimate organizations out here that could propel me in, into my career to go to take it to the next level. And, you know, Evo MMA is doing that for the Arizona fighters. And so we definitely got to give it up to Evo for uh, putting this show together and bringing this bring this broad spectrum of talent and bringing all these guys from all over the country together to one spot here in Arizona to really open the eyes to these fans. Sariva looks to be hanging on to that leg uh, in dear life for a sense, but again, no offense from Diego Sariva, or at least nothing significant in this round. No, Diego is definitely, he's, he's still utilizing that half guard. He's got a great half guard game, but he's looking to sweep when more so he should be looking to finish. Mm -hmm. He needs to be looking to finish right now. He's He's definitely down on all the scorecards. He hasn't controlled. He hasn't controlled any part of this fight. Um, the closest he's got was that that flying triangle in the very beginning of the first round. But that that was that was really nothing on the scorecards. 
Right now, Diego Saraiva really, I mean, just needs to get it to his feet and probably go for that puncher's chance, one punch home run KO type deal. Or, you know, maybe get back to his feet and pull guard and try and try another attempt with the flying triangle, flying armbar. He needs to do something from here, but he's, he's definitely not doing enough to win this fight. It looks like he's just trying to get by. Nice half guard attempt once again, but you know, Henderson, Henderson's a great athlete and a great jiu-jitsu guy. You know, train over there at the lab with, with Alvin Robinson, who is a brown belt. So I, I just I just don't see Diego being able to really effectively get his jiu-jitsu or you know, you know, attack with his jiu-jitsu because um, Henderson's definitely prepared, comes from a good camp. And a low blow right now, uh, clearly accidental, as you could see Ben Henderson uh, almost going over to Saraiva to check and see if he was okay. And again, if Saraiva needs it, he does have a full five minutes to recover from uh, what seemed to be, by, uh, by what I saw, Jamie, tell me if you disagree, but it looked like an accident to me. It looked like a low blow, and that, and that happens. When you're throwing those knees from the clinch on the inside, it, it, that happens. But, you know, it was a... You know, great showing of sportsmanship, and once again, touching gloves. You know, they, they know it was an accident, and it happens. That's just part of the fight game. And the fight goes on here at EVO MMA, the evolution of mixed martial arts. Again, the unified rules for the first time this evening here in Phoenix, Arizona. Andrew Falzone alongside WEC lightweight champ Jamie Varner. And uh, so far, we have been treated to uh, a spectacular night of fights. And, uh, Jamie, it's certainly a, a good, good experience, a fun experience to be a part of history. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, uh, you know, I was, I never thought nine months ago, ten months ago when I went to the state legislature that we'd actually be able to get, get real MMA in Arizona. So this is, definitely a, this is definitely a treat for me as a fight fan to see, to be able to see a real show. Third round almost done, and it looked as if Saraiva was looking for some, something to do with Henderson's ankle, maybe go for a, a, some type of submission attempt yeah. from the leg, a heel hook? Yeah, it looked like a heel hook, uh, but that was just uh, too little, too late, man. He should have been doing that from the beginning, beginning of the third round, from the beginning of the fight, he should have been putting those attacks together. Henderson, Henderson uh, for sure walked, is gonna walk away with that victory. He looked, he looked great in that fight, very explosive, and uh, I see him making an impact in one of the big shows, whether it be UFC, WEC, or even Strike Force. And now, as with uh, all fights that go to a decision, we sit and wait for the judges' scorecards, but I don't think there are going to be any surprises uh, in this fight here this evening. Of course, you see Del Hawkins there helping <laughs> towel off, uh, actually helping uh, get that shirt on Ben Henderson. Those two guys train together. They know and respect each other all too well. John Crouch, they're certainly very, very proud of Ben Henderson and, and the performance he's put on tonight. Oh, and, and look at Alvin Robinson back there. That, that was a terrific display of MMA. That was a complete fighter. That was, he had his ground game together. He had his striking together. His wrestling was on point. That, that was definitely a great, great fight. And uh, that, was, that was good. That was the best MMA fight, I would say, in Arizona's history, for sure. Let's go up to Shad Dales to get our winner for tonight's event. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. The winner out of the red corner, Ben Come on over. Let's talk about this victory tonight. Coming into tonight, you were six and one. Five of those wins came by submission. But I think tonight you proved to MMA fans everywhere that not only are you good on the ground, but you can throw leather, man. Uh, I wanted to kind of come in and prove that I'm not just a ground guy. My coach is jujitsu all the way. So I just want to come and show that I got some other skills. I have to ask, with a fight resume in such a short amount of time that you've amassed, have anybody at Elite XC, UFC, any of those guys come calling yet, or are they behind the, behind the wheel on that? I'm sorry, I don't mean to change the subject, but uh, sure. can I just say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? So yeah, any uh, UFC, Strike Force, Elite XC, any of you guys, hello, My name's Ben Henderson. I don't know what they're waiting for, but you'd be a hell of an addition to their lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your hometown favorite, Ben Henderson.